All right. So I wanted to talk about um, a particular subject here. Uh, I was having a conversation with uh, Circuit Ben from the UK uh, about the 4017 sequencer and using it in conjunction with transistors to fire off a series of, uh, essentially, the transistors act as switches, which can then let you uh, control in a sequence a series of events that occur. And uh, I was talking about something that I needed to do to improve uh, the control. I think the best way to do that would be to uh, shoot a quick video here. So, okay, I have a little circuit bent keyboard. It has these drum sounds. Uh, you can. So, pretty fat. If you could sequence these into a beat, you could have some pretty pretty nice little uh, drum beats. So that's exactly what I did. I made this box. It has a series of eight rotary switches and you can select which of these uh, individual drum hits you want to uh, happen for each of the events. And uh, there's a pre peculiarity with it that uh, I need to solve. And I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show what the problem is and then I'm going to fix it. So. So you can see the sequence is running. For each of these, you can select which sound is happening. And you can change the tempo. Slow it down real, real far. And at this point, you can see I've added here, you can see it in the back, uh, there's one LED that's just blinking on and off. So that's being uh, run by the 555 timer, which is providing the clock signal to the 4017. Roger, you got to get out of here, dude. I'm talking. Uh, so you can see when you slow it down here, Roger, go. Uh, so you can see, when you slow it down, that for each step of the sequence, this LED turns on and off. And it's on for 50% of the time, it's off for 50% of the time for each step in the sequence. Uh, so that's going to be useful in just a second here, because I'm going to use that. So what I want to show, so the sequence is running. Let me see, where's the kick drum? All right, so on the first uh, step in the sequence, I have the kick drum there, bat, all right. All right, so then you'll notice, all right, so here's the little, uh, uh, you know, wood block or whatever. So first step of the sequence is kick drum. What if I'm on the second sequence, second step of the sequence to be kick drum also? So I can set it to that. Wait, where is it? No. All right. So you can see, kick drum on the first step, second step. LED lights up, but it doesn't make the sound. Why doesn't it make the sound? It's because it's being switched so smoothly from the first to the second that the drum uh, sound generator, in this case the keyboard, doesn't notice that it was switched off and switched on again, which will cause it to re-trigger. So it's not being re-triggered. What I need to have happen here is before it fires off the second step in the sequence, it needs to turn off the signal coming from step one, turn it off completely, and then turn it on again for step two. Rather than just being on, 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 it needs to be on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off for each step of the sequence. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to fiddle with the guts, and uh, the goal will be, once I do that, we should be able to get a kick drum on every step of the sequence. Uh, because, hey, you might want to beat, and that's all kick drums. You don't want to have to not have the same hit uh, for two steps in a row. You know, that kind of limits the uh, the types of beats you can create. And, yeah, you can tweak it out. You can make it sound crazy. But you want to have flexibility here in uh, the types of beats you're going to make. So I'm going to work on that. We'll see what we can get.
All right, so I had some time to mess around with this, <coughs> and I uh, achieved my goal. I caused a couple of the problems in the process, but I managed to figure out what was going on there and fix them, so I think it's ready. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. You can see the clock is running. Here's the first step of the sequence. We have a kick drum, yeah? All right. Two kick drums in a row. Couldn't do that before. All right, let's keep going. So there we have it. Eight steps, all kick drum. Uh, all it took was four PNP transistors, uh, which I hooked up to the clock. And actually, if I slow this down, you can see each step of the sequence now has, you can see the pulse in it. It's darker and then lighter each time it gets activated. And when it brightens up, that's when the trigger goes through. When it gets uh, darker again, it, uh, it shuts it off. So, but you just don't want, even though the kick drum sounds pretty cool, you just don't want all kick drums here. So let's make a little beat. So there we go. I'm not sure if this is what is ultimately going to be used to produce uh, the drum hits in my drum machine, but I've just gotten one step closer to building uh, my own drum machine from scratch. Uh, we seem to have gotten the control unit figured out here. Now, what am I going to do for sounds? That's a question. I'm working on it. I uh, hope you learned a little something here. Thanks.